Hi everyone and welcome back. I know I have been away for a really long time, almost two years, but a lot of things have changed actually in these two years. For once, we don't have COVID anymore, so we're not wearing masks anymore, so that's a good thing. But there are also other changes. For example, I'm not a student anymore, so I was working for a company in Hamburg. So um, I was working for a company in Hamburg for almost one and a half year and then I changed my job so I moved to another city for a different job so uh, so all of these moving and all of these changes so I was busy with a lot of things but now I'm back I'm back with a very useful video and today in this video we will actually be talking about um, specific scholarship in the field of architecture so I was getting a lot of messages from the arts students actually. So, and this is the reason I'm making this video so that I could help you, I could help those people, I could help some of my friends who are also uh, trying to apply in Germany in this field. And so this video basically has two parts. In the first part, we will be talking about uh, all the information that is related to the scholarship itself. And in the second part, I was actually, I will actually take you through about like how to look for the universities, right? We will go through the link together. I will show you how to look for the universities. And there are actually quite, um, quite some universities in Germany who are actually offering admissions in the field of architecture. So in the second part, I will take you through how to look for them, how to <clears throat> find the universities and how to look for the information. So please watch both the parts because both of them are connected to each other and both of them are important if you're someone who's looking um, to pursue higher studies in architecture. Sure. So again, this scholarship is uh, from DAD, which is uh, one of the official um, scholarship provider or which handles the admissions or the funding specifically for Germany. So this scholarship is basically for the uh, postgraduate studies. So the first requirement for this scholarship is that you need to have a degree or you need to have a background in architecture uh, or maybe interior design or urban planning or uh, maybe landscape architecture or anything where you think that is connected to architecture in some way and you want to uh, pursue your uh, masters or if you want to study further in the field of architecture, you can apply for this scholarship. So the next requirement for this scholarship is that your degree, uh, the one we just discussed, should not be older than six years. So as long as it's six years old or up to six years old, you're good to go. You can actually apply. And the next uh, requirement is the language. So um, for language, it's a little bit tricky because the scholarship is not dependent on the language. The language requirement will come from the university. So let me make, make it clear uh, here that the, applying for this scholarship does not actually give you an admission. It does not guarantee your admission. This scholarship is there once you are admitted in a university in the field of architecture, then you can apply for this scholarship. So I will also show you how to look for the universities that are actually offering degrees in architecture, mainly in English with no tuition fee, then uh, you can apply for this. So those are the basic requirements for the scholarship. All other requirements would actually come from the university. So when you would apply for the university, we will be going through the requirements of each university. Uh, for example, they will be asking for a CV, they will be asking for uh, a personal statement or a motivation letter, they would be asking for your degree. So all of this uh, like detailed information about the documents, you can also go to my other video where I'm actually explaining about the documents. I will just put the link over here. Uh, you can also click that and if you wanna know more about what documents you should already be working on, you can just watch that video and get your documents ready. Um, so the next question is, so once you know the requirements, once you know about the universities as well, so you would like to know like what you would be getting uh, as in, in the form of scholarship. So monthly you would be getting around 934 euros 
uh, if I convert it into Pakistani rupees um, with a conversion rate of around 290, then you would be getting around 2,70,000 per month. Uh, this is for your living expenses. And then on top of that, you will also be getting a travel allowance, which means your return ticket from Pakistan to Germany and also to go back. So they also have provided a link where they have mentioned the amount you would be getting for your travel allowance. So I'm gonna quickly check for Pakistan. So if you're someone that is coming from Pakistan, for example, and if you're coming for um, one year, for 12 months, you would be getting around 1200 euros. But if you're coming for more than 12 months, you would only be getting 925 euros. So I will also put the link uh, to all the countries with the amount for the travel allowance in the description. So if you're not someone from Pakistan and if you want to know how much you would be getting, you can also go to the link and please check it out for yourself. I would also put a link um, of this scholarship. So if you want to know more about it, if you want to read uh, more details about it, you can also go to the link and so you would be able to get more information. So you, you would be getting monthly stipend of 934 euros. You would be getting a travel allowance. And on top of that, you will also be getting a study allowance. It's not fixed how much you would be getting, but it's something that could help you with your maybe books or something that is related to your studies. And other than that, you will also be getting um, um, basic health insurance. You would also be getting uh, basic liability insurance. And on top of that, in some cases, they also try to cover your uh, rent and um, it's it's not fixed. So it's just uh, exceptional cases. But if they don't cover your rent, I think 934 euro is more than enough to cover your student accommodation. But if you want to know how to find accommodation or how much does it cost, I also have more videos about it. You can also go to my channel and you can also check out those videos. So the next important thing to know is the deadline. So the deadline for the scholarship itself is 30th of September. So 1st of October is basically the, the last date of the scholarship when the scholarship ends. But this date does not mean the deadline for the universities. So the deadline for each university, sometimes it differs. So it's University A has a different deadline, University B has a different deadline. So when I show you how to go and find the universities there, you can also look for the deadline. So like I said, I'm going to repeat it again. Applying for this scholarship does not mean applying for the university. So I will show you, I will take you through the link like how can you look for uh, for universities in the field of architecture i actually basically i already checked out some universities and i was trying to check whether there are plenty of universities that offer architecture first in english second no tuition fee so i actually uh, found quite some universities so you can also go through the link and um, check out the universities and if you want to apply for more than one university, more than two university, I would highly recommend it. Don't just be dependent on one university, try to apply for at least at least three universities, I would say. So I would just take you through the link and we will together, we'll try to fill in um, like the information and then we will see the list. So let's do it. Yeah, so here we go. So I just wrote, uh, wrote the basic the website, www.de. You have to just go to the first link that is available. So uh, this page will open. Just scroll down a little bit, go to international programs. So here you can see we already have more than 2,000 international programs available in Germany. So now we're going to just uh, narrow down our search. So I'm just going to write architecture here. And I'm going to choose course track. For example, I'm looking for masters and I want something that is in English. So hit search. 
Um, other than that, I'm also going to narrow it down to something where there is no tuition fee. So, for example, here, tuition fee. I'm going to choose no fee. So, at first, it showed me around 50 results. So, now after choosing no fee, I have around 31 results. So, this 31 results means you have 31 options in Germany, which are uh, currently open and they're, op uh, they're offering admission in the field of architecture. Uh, for example, this one is for masters and that is already in English. For example, the first one is in Frankfurt. It's an advanced architecture. The second is, for example, in Wiesmar and the third one is as well. And the fourth one is basically in my favorite city in Germany, that is Hamburg. So I would highly recommend you apply for this university. Um, it's really beautiful and you're gonna love it, except for the weather there. Yeah, so we have a lot of options here. For example, if we just wanna go through one of them, I'm just gonna go through the first one. That is in Frankfurt. So here, uh, if you click on the link here, you get an overview. So this overview is basically about the basic information. For example, it says, the uh, the duration is four semesters. It usually starts in the summer, the summer semester, and the language is English, and so on and so on. There's notation fee, and so on. So what's the other thing you need to check here is the requirements. So once you go to the requirements, because if you're planning to apply for this university, you need to know what are the requirements, right? So for example, one of the requirements is the language requirement. The language requirement is, for example, for IELTS is six, which is not so hard, so you can easily get it. So you can actually apply for this university. So the other thing you need to check is the deadline. So here it says 15th of October. I already told you the, uh, the deadline for the scholarship as well. So either until 1st of March, which is gone now, but on, you can also apply for, for next year. So the deadline would be 15th of October. And then you have to submit your application to the UniAssist on this website. But if you want to know more information about UniAssist, how to apply there, how, uh, how to send your application there, I have a separate video that is specifically about UniAssist. You can go through the video and then if you have any questions, you can always write in the comments. So it's the same like uh, you, if I would highly recommend that you go through this whole list. And I would recommend that you apply for at least three universities. And you can apply for more, but I would recommend at least three universities. So the chances would be higher of you getting admitted. And once you get admitted, then, then you can apply for the scholarship. So it's a really good opportunity. I would highly recommend you go through the list and you go through the link, which is available in the description as well. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I wish you good luck. So um, please apply for them. And if you have any questions, you can always write me on my Instagram or you can leave a comment on, uh, on YouTube. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible, but please do write me your specific questions. So for example, if you already know which university you would be applying into, if you, if you wanna know a little bit more about the city, if you wanna know some more information, you can always write me. But until then, I... The, uh, I will leave you with these links, so please go through them and good luck. So that's it for today, but if you have any question regarding this scholarship or regarding any other, any of my other videos, then you can always leave a comment under this video or any other video, or you can also DM me on my Instagram with your questions. Please write me your specific questions so I can help you as much as I can. But until then, take care of yourself and goodbye.